not, Ron. His name is Eric Merz, and he was arrested back in June of this year. He was charged with two felonies, and he was let out of jail to wait for his trial. And now, almost six months later, he's been arrested again. Eric Mers has a lengthy history with law enforcement. In November of 2018, he was charged as an out of state fugitive and again in March of 2020. On June 21st of this year, he was arrested and charged with felony drug offenses. He was allowed to be released until his trial, but under certain conditions. Most individuals are released with some supervision by the court and be, those will be called conditions of release. About a month later on July 28th, he failed to meet those conditions and a warrant was filed for his arrest. On December 15th, he was arrested again and found with seven handguns, four shotguns, an assault rifle, 150 fentanyl pills and more. If an individual violates their conditions of release, then there's a chance to bring them back in front of the judge to look at to, to review those conditions. Under New Mexico law, every defendant has the right to be released from jail before their trial, unless the district attorney files for what is called pre-trial detention. When we move to detain that we're trying to protect the community from that individual and from any further harm that individual could cause. That motion is first done by the district attorney's office and it's usually against violent offenders. For those detention motions, we have to show by clear and convincing evidence that that individual is a danger and that there aren't conditions of release that protect the community. When Merce was arrested back in June, our district attorney tried to keep him in jail, but that motion was denied by the judge, so Merce was released. The DA's office tells us pretrial detentions are only granted by the judge half of the time. We've been advocating for guidance to judges to improve the, that um, the rate of detention. We also spoke to the public defender's office. They represent around 85% of New Mexico's defendants. Not everybody accused of a crime is guilty of a crime. They say holding someone in jail before they are convicted of a crime can ruin that person's life if they are innocent. You shouldn't punish people before they've been convicted of something. We are only trying to detain individuals that present a danger to the community. The judge's job is to look at all of the factors, to look at a person's criminal history, to make a decision about whether or not to release somebody. Our view was to provide additional guidance to judges about how to evaluate the dangerousness of a person based on that current case. According to the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office, pretrial detention has only been filed on 16% of all adult defendants since 2017. Almost 70% of those defendants were involved in violence against others. Angel Salcedo, KOAT, Action 7 News. Eric Murs was booked for his felony warrant and will also face additional drug trafficking and firearm charges. He's currently in police custody.